Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out today. So yeah, we're gonna be doing my beauty trash. I'm just gonna go through my bag of empty beauty products here and share those with you. I have everything here in this plastic grocery sack. I need to get with it and actually get like a, a dedicated bin to put my stuff in so I'm not rattling around with this plastic sack. I have some hair care, makeup, skincare, stuff to share with you so I'll be giving you my thoughts about everything as we go so let's go ahead and jump in the first thing that I am grabbing out are these Neutrogena face uh, what are they called the makeup remover cleansing towelettes like that I feel like everybody has used these everybody seems to really love these I don't actually prefer them anymore I much more prefer the Kirkland's um, beauty facial towelettes, the face makeup wipes that you get at Costco. They're much more affordable. Um, these, for some reason, have started to sting my face a little bit. I'm not sure why that never used to happen. My skin has seemed to get a lot more sensitive as I've gotten older, so that's probably why. So I don't know if I would ever repurchase these. Um, I think I'll just stick with the Kirkland ones. Of course, you can't have an empties without having some sort of cotton or cotton rounds. These are the Swispers. These are from Costco. I got a big, big pack and it was super affordable. So yeah, I just use those to take my, usually my eye makeup off. Um, I use the Sephora waterproof, it's their waterproof eye makeup remover and it's the best ever. I'll link it below for you guys. So I use that with this, these cotton rounds and just take off eye makeup and it's a great situation not much to say about cotton rounds but this whisper brand is really good you know sometimes when you go really cheap with your cotton it can kind of like pill up and kind of break apart but those are actually really I mean they're good quality cotton <laughs> and then I really don't even want to show this because it's kind of nasty it's been in the shower but I did finish it up it is the savage moisture mask it looks like that mine is so gross this is just like a, a hair mask and I really like this. It smells really good. I think it's like $40 for this big one. This was sent to me like a year ago, NPR, just to test out. And it is really good, but for the price, unless you can get it on sale, I would say there's probably better options for the price, but it was good. All right, so next up I have the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil. It looks like that. I love this stuff. I also love their Rose Hip Seed Oil which they're both super affordable. They're both under $10. And I use facial oil as my go-to like moisture for my dry skin. It just feels so satisfying. I use it every single day. I use it under sunscreen on days when I'm not wearing makeup. I use it as a makeup prep, especially under my eyes. Um, I just kind of you know pat it in under my eyes and it just makes my concealer go on so much better. I absolutely love facial oil. And since I found the Ordinary's Marula oil and their rose hip seed oil, I will never spend more than $10 on a facial oil because it's just not necessary. This stuff is so good. Highly recommend that. Um, Ulta sells it and also Sephora or you can order off of the Ordinary's website, I'm sure. I get mine at Ulta or Sephora, but I'm sure there's other places you can buy it as well. And next, I have a lip gloss that I have to get rid of. It's not empty yet, but I left it in my car like over the summer. I totally forgot it was in there. It was like in a crevice um, in my like console. So I am getting rid of it because it smells weird. Yeah, it smells really chemically and it's not supposed to smell like that, but I absolutely love Pixie lip glosses. This one is in Bon Bon and it, it's Chloe Morello collab. Looks like that. And the color looks kind of bright, like it wouldn't be that flattering, but it goes on so sheer and has sparkles in it that it's just one of those that makes your lips look so juicy and the color is just flattering. It's so beautiful. And I do think Pixie lip glosses in general are super overrated or underrated. They're super underrated. I don't feel like anybody talks about them. I believe they're $14 and I have a few other shades that I'm working through and I absolutely just love Pixie lip glosses. Sticking with lip gloss, this one is all gone. <laughs> this is the Marc Jacobs. The shade is Moon Glow and it's their Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer. Looks like that. 
I feel like so many people absolutely love this lip gloss and I would never repurchase it just because, I mean, it was a fine lip gloss, but it's really expensive. It's probably up around $30 for a lip gloss. And it just, it's a beautiful color. I like that. I like the formula. It just lasted like literally two seconds on my lips. So I'd have to constantly reapply it. It has a little bit of a mint like sensation, but it doesn't tingle or burn my lips, which I appreciate because I absolutely hate lip glosses that <laughs> tingle and hurt. Um, I just don't like that. So anyway, I would not repurchase this formula, but the color was beautiful. And then I have these empty boxes by kiss and these are the fault scara like system this is the starter kit that i have and then this one is just the um, kind of like a replacement lash or a separate set of lashes that i used i'm kind of confused by this product it's advertised as being an at-home eyelash extension kit but also it says that it's for one day use <laughs> and you're supposed to take them off at the end of the day so it's very confusing it for me I got two days out of two days wear out of this system and so what it is is you get this comes with a starter kit and you get the bond side which is just like a black little mascara and you just paint that on your lash and you take the little wisps is what they're called they're little like lash clusters like that and you place them underneath the eyelash so they look more natural than on the top and you can't really see them and then you seal it i i cannot get this opened i just put some lotion on my hands and i cannot get this open but the sealer side is that what it's called the seal side is just a clear that you just it kind of takes away some of the stickiness stickiness of the bond I don't know I had a hard time with this even though the little bond mascara wand is super small I just was getting it everywhere like in order to coat my lashes I was getting it on my eyelid I got it like it transferred down I would not repurchase this system and I actually kind of regret purchasing it just because it was $20 in each of the wisps like the set is five actually I think it's seven I got mine on sale for around five dollars and the reason why I regret it is because since then since I've tried this I found way better at home eyelash extension companies two of them specifically lilac street and flutter habit um, actually wearing the flutter habit once today with the lilac street glue and i love that combination and they actually last more than one day or one night like this one says so yeah it's just not it's just confusing and i think it's yeah it's confusing because they market it as an eyelash extension which is supposed to last more than one day but then it also says don't <laughs> don't wear it longer than one day this falscara kiss falscara was a gateway to my diy at home eyelash extension obsession and now i'm just obsessed i'm trying like all the brands i can find and if you would like me to do like a review or a tutorial about how i do my diy at home eyelash extensions let me know i can get these to last around five days I could go longer but I like to try a new set after that time so it's just really fun. I just love having eyelash extensions and brows on and a little bit of under eye concealer when I'm wearing a mask. If I have those things done I just feel so much better when I'm going out. And by going out I mean doing things like uh, going to physical therapy or taking my daughter to school. <laughs> I'm not going to the club or stuff like that. Next up I have a mascara and this one is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, like higher end mascaras. This is what the wand looks like. It's kind of, it's like a standard natural bristle brush wand and this is a formula that gets better as it's been opened so it gets better with time and i can get really great buildable volume with this it can get a little clumpy so i like to take either like a little spoolie like this or 
a tool like this this one is from sephora it's like um it just has those metal comb like teeth is that, is that what you call it and you just kind of comb through so it's not super clumpy you gotta be careful with this cause this is sharp those those little teeth are sharp around your eye area so just be careful but anyway i love voluminous mascaras and also ones that will kind of attach onto my natural lashes and just extend them a little bit and i feel like this does that and i have another one right in my drawer here i do not like this one for the lower lash line because it does transfer and it flakes a little bit and when this tube is getting a little bit older i can tell because it does it will start to flake definitely check this one out if you like voluminous lengthening mascaras and check out like the small size because they have the little small size that you can sample i think for like 10 or 12 dollars and then i have this matrix shampoo the brass off this is my favorite toning shampoo it's like a purpley blue color and it just helps keep my hair not brassy it can make if you leave it on or use it more often it can really make give you that icy almost gray tone look so you gotta be a little bit careful with it but i will wash my hair with like regular just a regular non-colored shampoo and then i'll go in the second time with this one and that for me like gives me the best tone it's not too much if you want more of an ashy look just leave it on there longer but this stuff is like this is the best purple shampoo like bluish purple shampoo and mine's so gross it's been in the shower i need to just throw that away <laughs> and that one i think would be great to tone darker hair not just blondes but like brunette brassiness definitely check that one out it is just one of the best on the market that i've tried i've tried a lot of different purple shampoos and that one is my favorite and i did repurchase that shampoo and i will always repurchase it so i have one in my shower right now i finished up the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel if you haven't seen it it looks like that it's just a little clear brow gel and this is i actually forgot to I wonder if there's any left in there. I forgot to do my clear brow gel today. I love this because it really sets your brows in place and it lifts them up. And it, I like to have like a bushy brow look as much as possible. So it really helps to not only comb your eyebrows up, and this one's pretty dried out and old. I have a new one. I already repurchased a new one and I have that in my eyebrow section of my makeup drawer here. But it just lifts them up, holds them in place. And I also love this because I go in with like a pretty heavy handed brow. <laughs> I don't mind a bold brow. I like a bold brow, don't get me wrong. But it, it helps soften it a little bit if you're not going for that look. So it just go in with a bold brow and then use this to kind of soften it out and fade it a little bit, especially towards the center is the look that I like. So I like that for a few different reasons. And like I said, I already repurchased that. And then I have this little size of the Garnier Garnier, however you say that, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And looks like that. I'm currently using the full size of this, but after I'm done with that, I have purchased the Bioderma. I got it at Costco for a really good deal, so check at Costco if you are in the market for micellar water. I'm interested to hear if you guys, if any of you have tried both this one and the Bioderma, is it really that big of a difference like i heard bioderma is just amazing and so superior but i mean it's just a micellar water so i'm just curious to know and when i get to the bioderma i will test it out and obviously compare it for myself but i'm just curious to know is one really that much better th than the other <laughs> and then i have six mac lipsticks that are not used up but are either expired they look funky or smell funky so i will be taking those back to mac and i actually did i filmed a mac lipstick collection video so be on the lookout for that if it's already posted then i'll link it down below and up here in the eye where i just try on all my mac lipsticks that i have and just share with you my collection and then these are the ones that got decluttered because as i was filming that i realized that these are past their prime so yeah going back to mac and i'll get a new lipstick and then I think this is last. I have this tiny little nubbin. I was trying to use it today. 
but it's just so small that I think I might have to just retire it because um, it it's just too hard to use. It's so little, but it's the MAC lip pencil in the color Oak. This is such a perfect color for kind of outlining your lips a little bit and just making them look a little bit fuller. I have a little bit of it on today, like on the out, outer edges. I just think it makes them look more luscious and full. And it's just a beautiful like beige color. And I need to repurchase this because I don't want to be without this. I will usually go in with like a any lip color, a more beigey pink color. Like today I have on, what do I have on today? Edge to edge, which is more of a pink color. And so I just fill in my lips with that. And then I usually like to take a little bit of oak or stone and just kind of outline the edges. And like I said, it just makes your lips look fuller, fuller and better. And if you're curious, I do have on MAC lipstick and cream cup. So that's my lip combo. If you're curious, sometimes I get questions about that. That is everything. I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but I also feel like I didn't have that much stuff to share with you. So this is a video that I will probably do maybe every month if I have enough stuff or every couple months. So be on the lookout for those. And yeah, let me know what products you guys have finished up and are you gonna repurchase them? Just let me know all the all the stuff down below. I love connecting with you guys and chatting with you guys and I appreciate your time to watch, the time you take to not only watch my videos but leave comments, it's just, that's why I do YouTube is because I just absolutely love our community that we have over here. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.